there are two nodules in the right lobe. The larger one is a multi-chambered, dominantly cystic. No typical comatail artifacts in the smaller chamber. The solid part is echinormal at the dorsal part. The smaller lesion, a nodule with rim calcification, can be observed lower to the larger nodule. The nodule shows signs of paranodular flow. The left lobe is echinormal and besides small discrete lesions, has a minimally hypochoid nodule in its central part. The nodule has halo and shows paranodular vascularity. Now, we demonstrate U.S. guided aspirations. On two attempts, 6 milliliter brown fluid was aspirated. The tip of the needle is not seen but the shrinkage of the nodule is evident. On the second phase of aspiration, both the continuous shrinkage and the tip of the needle are clearly seen. After the aspiration it became evident that the solid part is hypochoic. The origin of the bright echogenic foci seems to be ambiguous, however these were clearly related to cystic content before the aspiration. The borders became irregular lobulated which has limited if any relevance after the removal of cystic fluid.